morning guys it's uh, just after 7 a.m. and we're headed to the Grand Tetons this morning we got a few hours left probably three or four hours of driving until we get there but we drove into the dark last night and uh, pulled into this side of the highway place called Hell's Half Acre yeah so we pulled in here in the dark I guess this is an old campground or something so I don't know what uh, what's here it was totally dark but it looks like we're up on a on a raised section here with some valley let's see what we have oh wow look at that well that's interesting and this is the other side nice view but it was just a place to sleep we're going to uh, brew up some coffee and hit the road heading west we are about 30 minutes west of Casper Wyoming and heading towards the Grand Tetons so let's rip on our way to the Grand Tetons and it is super smoky like it's thick and uh, we pulled up the fire maps on Google and there's actually two fires there's a big fish creek fire that's been burning for a while um, looks here that it says that 87% contained but it is putting smoke into Yellowstone into the Grand Tetons and there's another one called the Pack Trail. Um, not doesn't say anything about this one being contained. Uh, let me see. Oh, zero percent contained. Estimated 48 square kilometers burned. So it sounds like that one's pretty new. Um, but yeah, the whole area. I'll turn it around. Wow, you can it's see. Even thicker. It is thick, thick, thick. And we just went through um, a sign where it says it's going to expect poor visibility and um, active fire activity. You can see up in the hills here, that's active burning going on. There's a helicopter there. Yeah, it's it's water, water bombing. bombing. Wow, 9,500 feet. Yeah, we've been climbing. Pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's pretty. How are you going to pick what video to use? Uh, I'm just going to use them all. It's going to be a three hour video on Tintons. <laughs> just getting ready we're unhooking so that we can pull into our spot and let's show you where our spots gonna be are you ready we're excited right there look at that look at this oh my gosh
We're jeeping it in the Grand Tetons. Yep, we're gonna go see what we can see. We have no plans, so we're just gonna drive around this morning and look at it all. <laughs> yeah, just gonna drive and see what pops up. Yeah, we, uh, we're, gonna, we're heading towards Mormon Row. Um, Got Cunningham Cabin right across the road. Okay. According to that sign. Well, so we can go there anytime. Look at that, we're already changing plans. <laughs> <laughs> where, well, I don't know. where are we going? No, we're going to Mormon Row. We're going to Mormon Row. We're going to stick with that plan. <laughs> we'll go there after. Okay, so we're going to Mormon Row, and then we're, um, yeah, we're just going to make like our way back. Looks like we can do back. like a big loop through some back roads. Okay, so, so we're just going to see what we can see here this morning. And um, it was a beautiful morning. It's cold. It was minus three Celsius when we woke up this morning. Whatever that is, Whatever 30, that 30 is Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit or something maybe. Cold. Um, but but it was nice. The was, sun came out. Yeah. Lit everything up. It wasn't windy at all. And the nope. sky's clear. And you couldn't ask for a better day. Yeah. It's crispy. It's crispy. And we we're supposed to hit like a high of 18 Celsius or something like that today. So not too hot, which is... Yeah, mid 60s, something like that. Which is great. And the colors are beautiful, so we're excited for the day. So let's go on an adventure and see what we can find. So Marianne's getting pictures of horses in the mountains. She's the photographer. I, I just hang out. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good view. Just heading out. We got 10 minutes away from our camping spot. And we realized we forgot our park pass. So we're going back, but we're gonna take some pictures before we go back. And some pictures. She likes those kind of fences. Go to Cunningham Cabin. I see why they moved. Not much of a view. They got some old ranches. Marianne's taking pictures. <laughs> Do you like Mormon Row, Marianne? It's so pretty. I just want to live here. Just grab one of those old cabins and fix it up. <laughs> it's so pretty here. Oh my gosh. Really? Like the like fall? Wait for me. Yeah, it's a good time fall of year, I think. Fall is the time. It's not too hot. The colors are amazing. And it's like there's people, but it's not really busy. Well, I don't think it's a super busy park though, is it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know much about it parks. Is but it's uh, now's a really nice time.
park dude there. Oh, there's a cow there, cow and a bull. He's waving us through. in rut. Yeah, he'd look over here. Yeah, he might come over here. You are just awful. Don't do he it. He knows what he's smelling. He's not looking away. Just leave him be. Jenna, Blake. Smoky. It's very smoky. Signal Hill. We just climbed Signal Mountain. Well, in a vehicle. We drove up. We drove up. <laughs> well, we're up there. We're gonna go have a look. Are you ready? Yikes. We're still going up. We must smell or something. We came up here, there was like 20 people and everybody left. That's okay, it's timing, it's, it's good, we like it. The time Come is see now. this. So we were at our campsite and I was talking to Scott from Jarhead and Ginger. Um, they have a YouTube channel called Jarhead and Ginger. That's yes. right. And he suggested that we come up here. He showed me some pictures on his phone. Thanks for the tip guys, this is pretty awesome. We're not alone anymore. We're at 7,727 feet. We're at Oxbow Bend Turnout, right on the side of the road. We got a pretty nice view with the uh, birdies down there. And, uh, it's the birdies. Fall colors. And the river and the mountains. Be a good jet boat river too. Oh, and a fish just jumped. And I got him on video, I think. He just jumped right out of the water. He's putting on a show for us. Don't fall. Well, if I do, I know you'll get it on video. I have faith in you. Those are Canada geese, aren't they? Sure looks that way. They probably left home around the same time we did. We've been traveling right alongside. We are at Schwabacher Landing. 
And there's some kind of reflection in the water that may be a morning shot, but we're gonna go anyway, because it's pretty clear right now. Let's see how it looks, because I imagine it's like a wrestling match for the right spot in the morning. <laughs> for sure it is. So we don't need the uh, award-winning Pho photograph is that the word? Absolutely, photograph. we do. Well, we're not going to win any awards, but we'll still get a nice picture. Yeah. We'll insert it right here, and you tell us. Marianne's going off-road to get the photo. Those new shoes. Take her places. There's nobody here. Another viewpoint at Schwabacher Landing. There's a few. There's, yeah, there's a lot of different places you could take a picture from down here. I think this is the nicest spot along the trail. What do you think? I like it all. <laughs> it's framed in nice. Oh. I'm no photographer, but... So we are in Jackson, Wyoming, which I think is like the Jackson Hole area. I'm not sure how Jackson, Jackson Hole works, but I believe that's where they have the big hill climb every year for the snowmobilers. That'd be cool to check out sometime. Their arch and there it is, boom, just like that. There's two. Oh, and there's another one over there. <laughs> So they have these antler arches, which I don't know how many antlers are in each arch, but I would say exactly lots. <laughs> they have one of them, two of them, three of them, four of them. That's like a gazillion antlers. A gazillion. That's nuts. We found a sign. Antler arches have been gates to the Jackson Town Square since 1960. The antlers are from elk that winter on the National Elk Refuge. About 7,500 elk spend each winter on the refuge. The bulls shed their antlers each spring. Antlers are picked up by the local Boy Scouts and sold to public auction in this square each May. All four arches were built by the Jackson Hole Rotary Club. Coolio. We were walking all over looking for a bakery to get something back for us and it turns out we parked pretty much right in front of them. So <laughs> here we are. Let's get something good. The little bakery we're at is called the Persephone. Super cute. And Gore got a... What was that? Maple walnut or something chocolate like that? Maple or chocolate walnut. maple walnut or chocolate walnut? Banana bread. And I got a pumpkin spice thingy bread and apple cider and they have the cutest to-go cups ever and we're inconspicuously angle park right there yeah yeah because it's so sad i'll make it quick 